What's the strengths of Raman spectroscopy? It's a non-contact technique and it's non-destructive. We're able to get sub-micrometer spatial resolution, so on the order of 300 nanometers in the visible. We're able to do flexible sampling, so we can measure samples in any phase, solid, liquids or gases. We can measure samples of any size, both micro and macro samples. And we need to do very little sample preparation. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail on the next few slides. Because we tend to work in the optical for Raman spectroscopy, both glass and water are transparent, so we can work through them. So we can examine wet samples, in particular biological samples. Uh, we can use fiber optics, so we can actually measure samples a long way from the uh, Raman spectrometer just by using a fiber optic probe. We can also measure through reactor windows. So uh, if we had a, a sample in a, a reactor at 2000 degrees, we can just shine our laser light through the our reactor window and measure the sample inside. The last thing I want to mention is fast chemical imaging. And I'll talk about that on the next slide. So fast Raman imaging involves showing the laser on different points of the sample and collecting spectrum. Here, I've got two videos. One shows measurements of a two inch silicon carbide wafer, so a big object, and the other shows a subsequent measurement of the defect, which we're just zooming into now. And I'll just start that one running. And what I really want to show there is, um, with Raman imaging, we have the speed to be able to measure these objects in very high resolution, but we also have a choice of resolution. So if you want to, we can do a survey scan. We can scan this two-inch wafer at a slightly lower resolution, and then we can zoom into an area of our interest and do it in much higher resolution to get more and more information. And uh, this is one of the really big benefits about fast Raman imaging, is that we're not limited in any way to the size and scope of the measurement.